are back on the road to City Hall. My next guest is a political comedian who has mounted a campaign for U.S. Senate in the past. This year, he's making a bid for mayor. So is this campaign just for laughs, or is he serious about this campaign? Let's talk with Democratic candidate for mayor, Randy Critico. Good to see you. Hey, great to be here. Thank you. I was telling you be, uh, during the break that this is like doing The Tonight Show, which I did in 1984 <laughs> with Johnny Carson. I was there in 1984, and I was very nervous before I went out there, but it was mm. a great break. And I consider this show to be the Johnny Carson show of New York politics. Okay, minus the couch. I like that. Thank yeah. you. That's a compliment. I didn't get the couch. L last time I saw you, Randy, you were dressed up as Diogenes. Yes. Uh, I think you crashed the Democratic State Convention a few years ago. Well, I did it there, and I also Actually, did it... I saw you in Albany walking It was around. in Albany. Yeah. It was a, um, a Senate hearing on good government or government ethics. Yes. So I went in. I put on a uh, Diogenes a toga or smock or whatever, and I had a great uh, mask, and I went in with a uh, lantern and this, and looking for an honest politician. And those who don't know who Diogenes is, the ancient philosopher. Ancient philosopher, 500 from uh, Diogenes of Sinope, was a cynic, came from the school of cynicism, and uh, he looked around for an honest man in the daytime with a lamp, right? Yeah. And uh, up there, it caused a big stir. Everyone was angry with me, uh, but it was fun. You know, I'm a prankster. I, I am a prankster. I don't think of you as a cynic, though. I mean, and, and um, you were serious about marijuana reform, and yes. you emphasized that by lighting up a joint inside the Capitol. Yes, I did. Ago. Right across from Jimmy Vilkind and uh, next door to Zach Fink and the others, I lit up a joint uh -huh. uh, because I'm an occasional user. And uh, pot is, uh, you know, it keeps me away from alcohol. Pot is fun. There's <laughs> nothing wrong with smoking pot. <laughs> you, you want the city to change its uh, policies, right. understanding that the city doesn't really control a lot of this stuff. They control the police, but the state really passes the laws and the federal right. government is something right. to do right. with it. Now, well. the state, the state uh, yes, it's, a, it's against the law to smoke a joint in public. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is 40 years after the 60s. Why are we locking people up? We're locking 50,000 people up a year, arresting them for smoking marijuana or carrying a little bit of marijuana. Mm -hmm. Yes, I know it's up to the state, but the city really doesn't have to enforce those laws. And certainly, we don't have to put them through the criminal justice system, which is the most racist, I think, just as racist here as it is in any county in the South. We, we haven't talked um, with all of the different candidates yeah. about that particular issue. I know Joe Loda, who's a libertarian, yeah. is in favor of... Big pot smoker, Joe. You know, he and I used to smoke a bong together. <laughs> You're kidding. I'm kidding, Joe. You're kidding, kidding. right. Okay. He worked for Rudy Giuliani. Giuliani would never have a guy that smoked pot. But, but, but many of the positions you're taking about police reform, uh, about education reform, I know you want more um, rehab instead of throwing people right. into jail in Rikers right. Island. Do none of the Democratic candidates or the Republican candidates follow those positions? They don't talk about, no one cares. It's almost like that's the third rail of politics, talking about the criminal justice system. It needs to be, forget about stop and frisk. And everyone's like kind of against stop and frisk, you know. Bill de Blasio wants to get the numbers down. And uh, uh, Thompson says we've got to keep it higher, 20,000 more police or whatever. Uh, the thing is, it's unconstitutional. Either you're for the Constitution or against the Constitution. And they are against the Constitution. So you can't have stop and frisk. Uh, they don't talk about the special narcotics prosecutors under 15 years, Bridget Brennan. I will talk about that. They don't talk about how many African Americans go through the criminal justice system in Kings County, Manhattan, and Queens. You go down there, you got kids in there for absolutely nothing going through what's called the chow. And it's, it's supporting a really vile criminal justice system. And they end up in Rikers, and then they end up upstate, away from their families for minor offenses. And they're not going after the real criminals, which are the bankers and the Wall Street guys. Now, you talk about politics the way a certain number of people in New York do. That's what this show is about, all the different voices, the different ways people like to talk about politics. On the, on the particular question, though, of, like, say, the special narcotics prosecutor, I've, I've, I've met... Bridget Brennan. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the original one. Sterling yeah, Johnson Sterling is the guy Johnson, that yeah. over the years. Yeah. I mean, look, the people they lock up, some of them are some fairly scary characters. Yeah, I mean, not. there's a real difference between recreational, smoking a little pot on the weekend, and some of these, these gangbangers and the guys in the, the, the cocaine trade and the guys right. who are running you know, yeah. oxycodone all over the country. Well, you know, you're not going to be, first of all, Prohibition doesn't work. That it's not working right now. Uh, I can get drugs anywhere. You know, I'm an ex-cocaine user, and uh, you know, if I wanted to, I can get it anywhere. All right. So uh, what you need right now is a, a lot of money spent on rehab in this city. Instead of spending some fifty thousand dollars a year to send somebody upstate, fifty thousand. That's how much it costs to go to NYU or more. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't think uh, they put in the Escobar family. They go after very low-hanging fruit. That, that, it's all nickel bags and dime bags. 
there are no huge drug dealers coming through that criminal justice system, and they're all black and Latino, and they're desperados, and they're poor. If we had a massive jobs program, an FDR-style jobs program, if we tax Wall Street just like a half a percent, a half a percent on their transactions, we could raise like $100 billion, and we could subsidize jobs. We could subsidize education. I would bring in Cornell West to run the Department of Education as my chancellor, who I got arrested with in uh, two actions against Stop and Frisk. Mm -hmm. I know you're still very much an activist, and we're going to see a lot of that on the campaign trail, I assume. I cannot let you get out of here without um, asking for, you know, Governor Cuomo won't come on the show. He won't come this on the show. me. I'm not just nothing personal or anything like that. We can't get him on the show, but you do a wicked imitation, so we'll take the next best thing. I'll do the best thing I can. Let me tell you something, all right? I know I'm afraid you might ask me a question that I can't answer. I need to be, I have to pre-screen you, all right? And this is Governor Cuomo, and I will tell you if you ask me that question again, I will get Joe for Coco to break your legs. <laughs> okay, good enough. How about Avon Sharpton? Nice to be here. Oh, you do an Al Sharpton? I do a great Al Sharpton. Hey, hello, right? I do a great movie, Giuliani. I used to do him a lot. And I also do a great, <laughs> who I love on this show, who I miss a lot, is Ed Koch. I love uh, Ed on this show, and I think he was a wonderful guy, and he was a great the guest. And uh, I'm sure we all miss them here at New York One. Okay, entertainment and straight talk. You're going to see Randy Credico on the road to City Hall. We'll wish you the best of luck like we do Thank everybody you. else. And Thank we'll you, Johnny. See you again soon. Thank you, Johnny. <laughs> okay. Hi, yo. We're